हेलो एवरीवन नमस्कार सो लेट सॉल्व वन मोर क्वेश्चन एंड दिस वन इज फ्रॉम फूरियर साइन ट्रांसफॉर्म सो वी हैव टू फाइंड द फूरियर साइन ट्रांसफॉर्म ऑफ ई पावर माइनस मॉड एक्स एंड हेंस वी हैव टू इवेल्युएट जीरो टू पाई एक्स साइन एम एक्स डिवाइडेड बाय वन प्लस एक्स स्क्वायर डी ओके So if you know how to solve this, do give it a try. Otherwise, we are going to solve it in depth within a few seconds. Here we go then. So Fourier sine transform they are asking. So we know how to find the Fourier sine transform. So if we let this as f x. So if I let this as f x. so we know that uh, uh mod x is x if x is positive and it is minus x when x is negative so let's find the fourier साइन ट्रांसफॉर्म ऑफ एफ एक्स सो दैट इज गिवेन बाय दैट विल कम अप टू बी अ फंक्शन ऑफ एस एंड हाउ इट इज कैलकुलेटेड इंटीग्रल जीरो टू इंफिनिटी एफ एक्स सो आई एम राइटिंग इन प्लेस ऑफ एफ एक्स ई पावर माइनस मॉड एक्स With that, you have sine s x, and then d x. Fine. Now, as I told you that uh, your mod x is x for all positive values, so because the limit is from zero to infinity, this will automatically become e power minus x. because mod x will open as x in this interval so in the next step i can write 0 to infinity e power minus x sin sx x now how to solve this integral in this type of integral i told you that we have a direct result okay i have discussed the proof also in my channel so direct result is whenever you have e power ax and with that you have sin bx so the direct result is write e power ax divided by a square plus b square then with a write sin bx because sin is a not function just for the sake of remembering formula we write minus sin then the remaining b and the remaining cos b so i where i was i was there to find the fourier sin transform that came in terms of s and that was 0 to infinity e power minus x sin sx dx you know how to solve this integral now so for this case we have the value of a to be minus 1 and the value of b to be s so it will be e power minus x Divided by a square plus b square. A sine s x because in place of b we have s minus b cos s x. Okay, so minus can come out. 
e power minus x divided by 1 plus s square inside you have sine sx plus s cos sx and as I told you this goes all the way from 0 to infinity now when you will put the upper limit, it will become e power minus infinity. I hope all of you are aware with e power minus infinity because that is 1 upon e power infinity, 1 upon very big quantity will give you 0. Okay. So first term upper limit is giving you 0, coming to the lower limit that will be e power 0 that is 1. So 1 minus sign for upper limit. 1 minus sign from here so that becomes positive 1 upon 1 plus s square and here if you put 0 sign 0 is 0 here if you put 0 cos 0 is 1 so from the bracket you are going to get only s fine enough so you are getting now your Fourier sine transform to be equal to S divided by 1 plus S square. Now, as again, if I look at my question, I want things in terms of X. So, why not take Why not take inverse Fourier transform? So inverse Fourier transform will give you f of x in LHS okay. inverse Fourier sine transform because you are taking so what will that be equal to 2 by pi okay integral from 0 to infinity this fs will come with that you will have sin sx also and ds will come now what is the demand of the question? It want x sin mx by 1 plus x square. x sin mx by 1 plus x square. So it is simple. If you put uh, S uh, 1 plus x square 5 you put S as x and your x as m So you will get f of x to be equal to 2 by pi 0 to infinity s is your now x <coughs> and here you are having uh, sine sx 
So this will now become sine mx. Fine. Uh, you would have done uh, one more thing. Because x is uh, here constant, so put x as m. So this will become fx equal to 2 by pi 0 to infinity s divided by 1 plus s square sine ms. Now again, the integral is in form of s or in form of x, the value remains the same. Okay, so now in this step, we can change this integral in terms of x. So and take that uh, 2 by pi to the other side, so you'll get pi by 2. fx. So, because we have put x as m, so fx will become f of m. So, f of m, if you want to find from here, that is e power minus mod m. And because we are again talking for x greater than 0, because this is from 0 to infinity, we can uh, go with e power minus m only. So in LHS we had e power minus m now. And this equals to uh, 0 to infinity change integral from in terms of s to in terms of uh, in terms of s it is there change in terms of x. So 0 to infinity x divided by 1 plus x squared into sin m x dx. So I hope this was needed, the RHS was needed and that came out to be equal to pi by 2 e power minus m okay so so i hope you understood this problem it was an easy one just we have to take the fourier sine transform and then the inverse fourier you would have written sine also here okay so inverse fourier sine transform after that things were easy uh, until and unless you know these formulas to make your things even simpler and that's it uh, you need to know the formula of Fourier sine transform or inverse Fourier sine transform to get to your final answer which is pi by 2 e power minus n so that's it from my side thanks and have a nice day